hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have square root of m plus m is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of m and at the last uh, we check that uh, which of these values of m are satisfied over this equation or which of these values are solution of this equation and uh, which of these values are extraneous root of this equation so we explain the term extraneous root uh, at the end so please watch this video complete uh, so uh, here uh, we solve this problem for uh, two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in the very first method uh, we need to make the factors of this equation and you see here this is the square root term is involved uh, and we very well know about that if we have any number is a uh, so we write this a into the form of square roots and it will be written as square root of a is multiplied by square root of a so uh, according to uh, this rule of square root we need to uh, rewrite this m as in this form uh, so here uh, we write this m as so that we write this m as square root of m into square root of m and this will be written as square root of m plus square root of m is multiplied by square root of m is equals to zero and now here further in the next step uh, you see here both of these terms involve square root of m so that here we will take common square root of m and we get the remaining values are from here we will take common square root of m and we get one only and from here we will take common square root of m and we will get here square root of m and this whole equation is equals to zero so you see here both of uh, we just convert our equation into the two uh, into the factorization form so now here we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write square root of m is equals to zero and the second case is we write one plus square root of m is equals to zero so uh, from first case in order to find the values of m we need to uh, remove this square root sign for this we will take squaring on both of the sides in this form so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here our m is equals to this zero square becomes here zero so this is the our uh, first real root of the given equation and from here we move this plus one to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of m is equals to minus one so for the values of m uh, we again take a squaring on both of the sides so after taking squaring it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here our m is equals to this is minus 1 square and you know that minus 1 square is always equals to plus 1. So this is the our second uh, root of the given equation. So here first we find uh, the two roots of the given equation and uh, now here in the next step we need to uh, verify these two roots and we separate the solution and uh, we separate the uh, extraneous roots here. So in order to verification of the roots, we need to copy down given question statement here. It is square root of m plus m is equals to zero. Uh, so here we verify both of these roots and in this side we verify m equals to zero and in this side we verify m is equals to one. So uh, you see here, uh, we verify both of these roots. Uh, and uh, when you put this uh, root into the above equation it will be written as square root of 0 plus 0 is equals to 0 we put m equals to 0 on both of these uh, terms and after that you get here square root of 0 becomes 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and finally we obtain here 0 is equals to 0 so this uh, shows that the value of m is equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement. So it means that m equals to 0 be the uh, solution of the given equation. And 
Further, in the next step, we need to verify our second root, and in order to verification of the second root, we put this value here. And after substituting this value into the above equation, it will be written as square root of 1 plus 1 is equals to 0. And we know that a square root of 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 is equals to 0 and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 is equals to 0. And you see here 2 is not equals to 0. It is not possible 2 equals to 0. Uh, so this means that the value m equals to 1 is not satisfied our given question statement. Um, so we say that m equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation so here you uh, see the term extraneous root uh, so uh, the roots uh, which satisfied our given question statement is called the solution and the root which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so here we have m equals to 1 be the extraneous root and m equals to 0 be the solution of the given equation and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, and in second method we need to first copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is square root of m plus m is equals to 0. So in second method uh, we just move uh, this plus 1 to the plus m to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of m is equals to minus m. And here we need to remove this square root sign for this we will take squaring on both of the sides. So when you take squaring it will be written as in this form. So this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here m is equals to uh, this is minus m square becomes here plus m square. So this implies that here we move this m to the right hand side and it will be written as m square minus m is equals to 0. So further in the next step, uh, we need to take common m from both of these terms. When we will take common m, you get here m minus 1 is equals to 0. And here further we uh, divide this into the two cases. The first case is we write m is equals to 0. The second case is we write m is equals to m minus 1 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get m equals to 1. This is the second root of the given equation. So into the above verification we uh, say that m equals to 1 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation and uh, m equals to 0 be the solution of the given equation. We just verify these two into the uh, above first method. So um, I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos